Ideal Power has entered into a development agreement with the top 10 global automaker for its BTRAN electric vehicle power module. With me is uh, the CEO, CEO of Ideal Power, Dan Barter, to talk about what this means. Uh, Dan, I guess, um, congratulations on this and explain what you'll be doing exactly. Thanks. Um, what we're doing is, you know, we have a unique semiconductor technology that is really all about helping uh, applications be more efficient. So in the case of electric vehicles, our technology can help the automakers get more range out of the batteries on their electric vehicles, a key issue that they, they need to work on. So under this program, we're going to be working with another company that has some unique technology that is designed to package up uh, semiconductor devices for electrical connection. And we're going to target bringing a production ready module to this global automaker by 2025. Okay. Why do you think you were successful in this venture to be named as one uh, partner with us? Well, the automaker was looking at several new technologies because they're all driven for how can they reduce the cost of electric vehicles and how can they improve the range? So they evaluated our technology versus other options that are out there and concluded that our, we're, we're the best on return on investment in terms of the cost of the product we can bring and the performance improvement we can bring and then the range enhancement we can bring for an electric vehicle. Yeah. Now explain, Dan, I know we've talked before, but exactly what is your technology? It's a semiconductor device that's used to control the flow of energy. Uh, you actually have them all around you. In your computer, there's, you know, there's semiconductor switches, your refrigerator, your, your washer and dryer. Our technology happens to be focused on things that are higher power. So things like if you had a solar installation on your building, there's a power converter that converts DC to AC so you can use it. That's done with semiconductors. And for automobiles, for electric vehicles, the drivetrain depends very heavily on semiconductor devices to take the energy from the batteries, put it to the right voltage so it can drive the motors for the, for the vehicle. Yeah. And um, so what's next then? So when, when does this start with this automaker? When will you know how successful it's been and when it might lead to bigger things? Well, it's going to start here in a couple of days. Um, we've we've been awarded the program. The first thing we're going to do is start a wafer fabrication run to make devices for them. And we'll be providing them devices with a driver that controls how it operates and a, and a power board so they can evaluate the technology uh, you know, in, in real world applications here in the near term. And then there's a couple of stages to the program. The next stage will be working on this custom module uh, with the packaging company they have selected and ultimately taking that through a qualification process because automobile devices have to withstand shock and vibration and a whole lot of other things that your traditional stationary application doesn't require. So it's a multi-year program and we have to keep earning our way as we go, uh, but we're pretty excited to get it started. Yeah, no, I mean, that's great. You're finally, you're getting a chance to kind of test the technology that I know you've been working really hard on. Yeah, for sure. Okay. Well, Dan, congratulations. Thank you. And please update us when you can reveal the automaker and then also, also how the study is going. All right. Thanks, Jan. I appreciate you having okay. me. Uh-huh.